but <laughs> I, uh, I actually had to have hair extensions for the movie, which meant, <laughs> which meant I looked like a complete ass <laughs> the whole time. Um, so we all had to grow, you know, grow beards and everything, and um, the rawest deal actually, Tony Curran, uh, who played Honcho, the, the redhead guy, um, own hair, own beard, me, some Thai lady's hair, own um, <laughs> beard, um, Jerry, own beard, wig, um, high maintenance, uh, and Rory McCann, um, the who's a really, really tall Scottish actor, um, played Brecker in the movie. He had the rawest deal of all. He had to have a wig, which meant a long time in makeup, which no actor was to do. Um, and he also had part of his own beard and beard extensions. <laughs> um, and <laughs> he had what we sort of named the reverse goatee, where <laughs> <laughs> he grown all this, and then this was taken away. <laughs> Why? I hear you cry in your mind. Um, so that he could have um, extra beard glued onto his face. So this poor guy had to walk around for three months. <laughs> with mutton chops. <laughs> and, uh, he used to get really down about it because we, we'd go out in Reykjavik um, like wild men at the weekend because we'd been stuck in the middle of nowhere and um, everyone thought us together we looked like a band. <laughs> it was so hairy. We used to get asked this quite a lot. But one day Rory was feeling particularly down about this, um, this new look. <laughs> um, and uh, an Icelandic guy who was in, on the crew, actually went, you know, you, you shouldn't feel bad. And he said, why? And look, you know, he said, well, actually, if you just turn around and there on the wall of a bar, like a, a poster that had been plastered there, was a picture of one of the founder members of the Icelandic government with these mutton chops. <laughs> you see, you're really important. <laughs> to all of us in Iceland. But um, getting back to the point, yeah, we were we got mistaken for a band a hell of a lot in Reykjavik. Um, it was kind of, it was cool though, because you know, like, everyone would love to be a rock star at some point in their life, but you know, you'd get talking to people and say, are you, are you guys in a band? No, we're not in a band. We're in a movie. It's better. Is it? Um, <laughs> But we, we, um, we were in a hotel one weekend and these American women were walking along to the, the room. The four of, us, four of us were checking into uh, some rooms. And this woman came up to Tony and went, Hey, um, I recognize you. Are you, are you, are you in a band or something? <laughs> and uh, Tony just looked and then looked at me and went, Yeah, yeah we are, aren't yeah, we? And I went, uh, Yeah, yeah, we, we're called the Geats. So we became the geeks. <laughs> We've never played a gig. I'm <laughs> looking forward to the reunion. <laughs> We're looking forward to returning on stage. <laughs> so maybe an old to Jerry or something, you know. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> Great songs to start, Jerry, isn't it? Yeah. Too sexy for your shirt. I like Mr. Wonderful personally. I like that. Mr. Wonderful. 
Brilliant. Yeah, we'll get together one day and we'll do a tribute act <laughs> for, for Mr. Butler. <laughs> That'd be funny. And then we'll trash the place. Piss everyone off. Those guys are terrible. They played air guitar all night. Um, You're welcome in the gutter. <laughs> Um, any more questions? <laughs>